Seal shows are a popular attraction at zoos, with seals taught to perform tricks for food in front of a large audience. And that's a guarantee that your seafood comes from a fishery that helps protect fish stocks, jobs and the environment. Off stage, they languish in small pens like any other zoo animal, swimming constantly in repetitive circles or crying out in distress. In the wild, dolphins are known to travel up to 65 kilometers, 40 miles a day, and are constantly on the move, foraging for food, playing and fighting within their pods. They share with humans and great apes alone the trait of self-awareness, with evidence of intuition and empathy. There is no captive situation that can provide for all the behavioral needs of these highly intelligent, cognitively complex animals. Around 80% of SeaWorld Australia's dolphins have been bred in captivity and can never be released. Their entire lives spent performing daily for the reward of food. Achieving the right level of hunger prior to shows is a crucial consideration for a good performance in what is arguably the park's most popular attraction. With over $133 million in admission fees annually, Less than 1% is spent on their heavily promoted research, rescue and rehabilitation initiatives. Australia's federal government ruled in 1985 that no more dolphinariums be established and that existing ones should be phased out after receiving evidence that cetaceans in captivity suffer from stress, behavioural abnormalities, breeding problems, high mortality rates and shorter lifespans, even though at initial glance they may seem content with their conditions. Today, just two facilities remain, able to continue operating because of a loophole that allowed them to keep and display animals born in captivity, including those bred from rescued wild dolphins who themselves are required to be rehabilitated and released. This practice of rescuing, breeding and releasing allows these parks to keep the gene pool strong to ensure their shows can continue and their gates can remain open. While Australian dolphin parks are unable to capture and import healthy wild dolphins, this remains a reality of the animal entertainment industry elsewhere in the world, with the coastal Japanese town of Taiji a common point of capture. Every year, from September to March, thousands of dolphins and other small cetaceans are herded into a quiet cove at Taiji and brutally slaughtered by local fishermen, who see them either as a source of income or as pests. Dolphin trainers have been observed assisting fishermen in herding the dolphins, picking out a select few to be spared from the slaughter and instead transported to aquariums and dolphin parks around the world. 